Hello everybody, this is Hiromi Panda, and I have a very special treat for you guys today. Um, this is a game that I have uh, I have not played in a very long time. Uh, it's called Firewatch, um, and it is so much fun. Um, it's it's kind of hard to describe since it's kind of its own thing, but um, what it really is is it's a uh, kind of like a first-person mystery game so you're, you're kind of trying to solve a mystery um, whilst also kind of dealing with your own or the backstory of your character so it's it's, it's a lot of fun um, and it's just it's so pretty so um, without further ado let's get started Boulder, Colorado, 1975. And if the volume on the game is a little too high, uh, please let me know. You see Julia. She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with wall jest professors and grad students in nearby CU Boulder. Uh, you, Henry are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. You are drunk. Wow. So, uh, let's see. Yeah, let's go with that one. It seems a little bit less creepy. You slur the words of major and it smells like Coors. You give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, she says. And I'm a professor. Cool. Wow. Oh, was that a burn you asked? She says, <laughs> definitely. Um, where did she hurt your feelings? Um, she asked you if you want to, to split a cheeseburger. And one week later, you guys are dating. Nice. Okay. So, um, like I said, it's a first person game, so it's, uh, oh, hi, Watchtower. So it's, um, definitely just kind of this view, and that's about it. Um, so how's the sound? Is it too loud? Am I too soft? You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts, and that's great. That is great. Thanks, Watchtower. I like being adorable too. Ah. You move in, you share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beer out of the deck. Uh, you drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Yeah, it sounds, it sounds like a good life. Julia wants to get a dog. Okay, let's get a dog. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle Julia is in love with. She wants to bring it into her class. Um, there's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. So, uh, a beagle she names Bucket. Uh, or 
for a German shepherd uh, named Mayhem. Come on, you, you gotta d go with the one that the girl wants. The girl wants the beagle, we're getting the beagle. Buck is a good dog, and a week later you've totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him. You love him too. Aww. I mean, come on, how can you not go for the, the one that the girl likes? You know, if, if, if somebody is attached to an animal, then that's the way you go. You go with, you, you, you know, especially when it comes to adoption. You should always go with your gut about how you feel once you see an animal. Or go with your heart. talk out of the deck, it's summer 9.30 p.m. and the heat still radiates off the high desert. Kids. Uh, the kids talk. Yeah, my kitty cat is my heart, too. Um, it's rosy if you, uh, if you ever hear any kind of scuttering around, uh, that's her just kind of running around like a mad person. Um, she is uh, also part Egyptian mouse, so she is a talker constantly. But she is a mama's girl through and through. Let's see. Kids, they're not very smart or good at much. Uh, saying if you and I have couple of little bit. <laughs> A couple of little idiots. Uh, eh, one day why rush? Oh. That's not not ready for kids. Yes, she is a cutie pie jackass face. She is a giant brat, and she's actually over here to my right, uh, which is where I keep on looking over just now. Tell her she has the body of an undergrad. <laughs> my ovaries didn't get the memo. Wow. Six months later, you get engaged, lying in bed on a Sunday morning. Uh, okay. Here we go. And welcome to the mountains. Thoroughfare Trailhead. Don't forget to check in, no fireworks, warning, the road trail is not recommended for inexperienced hikers, and you're in bear country. Bear country. Oh, let's get going. talking about uh, the stitch in which no 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 I am not her wife <laughs> let's see it's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late she didn't call you're worried and getting angrier by the minute she walks in after you've gone to bed She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly had a fun time. Uh, you fight. <laughs> oh, she gets... Wow. Q 
make it mad or ignore. God, I hate fighting. It's, it's, it's always the worst. You like my eyebrows? Asshole, she tells you to fuck. Her. Oh wow! Uh, don't be such a baby. Call yourself a she. She knows you mean it, and it hurt her feelings. Wow. Where did I get the panda? Um. Well, see when a mommy panda and a daddy panda love each other very much. They uh, you know. Uh, they go out and get face rig and then they make a panda emote. Julie still likes to draw. She draws plans for research. She draws. Them. She draws you. <laughs> Pose and flex like you. <laughs> I'm glad that I could make you laugh so hard. <laughs> uh, nice. But yeah, another program is called Face Rig. Um, there is, um, uh, it's available. You can actually get it through uh, Steam. And uh, what it does is it'll actually work off of your camera. It'll track your facial movements, track your. Um, if you wanted, you can track your eyes, blinks, and you can, you know, kind of customize it however you want. And there are so many different, um, uh, so many different styles of characters you can choose. Yeah, no, it's it's, it's a lot of fun. I, I'm a big fan of. Uh, of uh, face rig, it works really well. Yeah, yeah, unfortunately. 1982, during the summer, you and Julia have. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, let's see, there's a festival in town, you bring. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you. Aw, oh, dang. Bucket gets. No! Oh god, bucket. Oh. Oh god, bucket. No. <sighs> yeah, I'm I'm going to beat his face in. Uh your arms get cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't f feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before the cops show up. Uh, Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. Uh, yeah. Yeah. From then on, you walk by the river. I just noticed that the um, that the screen on here is way too big. So hold on one second. I need to make some adjustments to this. Yeah, what it is, is it's kind of setting up um, your backstory so that when you're actually in playing the game, different things will happen in different areas of the game, um, you know, different, uh, different things.
things will be in the uh, the watchtower where you live. It's, it's it's actually you know it just takes a little bit to get going. Uh, Julia gets off for a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, two two thousand miles away. Um, I'm never. I would never convince somebody not to take a job. Yeah. Let's see. She asks if uh, she'll. You ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says it'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. Uh, not to pass it up if she if that's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. Yes, yeah, sorry, sorry, yes. The fire tower. Technically, it's a watchtower. It's a fire watchtower. <laughs> See what I did there? Ha! <laughs> Julia is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. Uh, she didn't remember she'd be happy. Uh, wow. She was found crying in the stairwell. Um, you say that maybe you guys should talk to somebody about it. Make macaroni and drink wine and forget about it. Oh god. Oh god. The logical side of me says to talk to somebody about it. But, but the Hufflepuff side of me says macaroni and wine. God, I don't know what to do. Oh god, macaroni and wine. Watch Dallas on TV and sleep together on the couch. Oh, nice. Oh god. <laughs> let's uh let's close that, shall we? God, I've never chosen that picture. Oh God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh uh, Bucket is getting older, Julia. Oh wow. Yes, I agree. I wish I could do both the macaroni and wine, and then go talk to somebody about it. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her cars to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is... Wow. That... Yeah. This is starting to get into the feels, like, seriously. Um, sometimes you get with Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. The other days you get a stranger... Uh, she pulls you into bed to make love after five minutes. She goes into panic, believing her dad is at the door. Wow. You tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. Uh, for a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She keeps getting worse. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, 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 it's getting a little, getting a little dark there. Um, let's see, you spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two week visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia should live somewhere else, somewhere like 24 hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple of months. Um, God. I know it, it, it kind of turned into a, I, f I forgot about the beginning of how bad like this can get into the feels. Um, let's see. Uh, why? Logical and Hufflepuff. Logical and Hufflepuff. God damn it, Hufflepuff.
God, I, the one thing I do love is the fact this game is so damn pretty. We look dear. Oh. Yeah, no, no, no. You can ask a question. Please feel free to watch Tower. Possibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her like she tries. Yes, yes, I am. I am currently transitioning uh, assigned male at birth um, to female. I started hormones about 15 months ago. Um, and on December 29th, I uh, had a surgery called a bilateral orchiectomy, which is basically um, removing the part of the body that makes testosterone. So, um, I've been living with it that way. I'm trying to, to, to kind of work towards the next set of, um, kind of, I guess, surgeries in my life, which is, um, probably not going to be for a couple of years down the road. Um, yes, yes, and thank you, thank you. Um, I've been living full-time, like, I want to say for about a year, um, but I actually just started my new job about four months ago, and um, I was so happy because of the fact that I got to actually start there as me, um, and so it's a whole new group of people that only know me as me. confetti in my hair now <laughs> let's see uh when she goes to sleep you stay for a few hours drinking on the deck watching baseball in the summer class wow but yeah so um i actually i started working at disney and disney is considered one of the um <laughs> um I guess one of the most like welcoming and, and amazing companies when it comes to working with LGBT, you know, employees. So, yes, I enjoy the rainbow quite a lot. I am many different shades of the rainbow. Uh, let's see. Oh, I am not only um, I am not only the T. Um, but I'm also uh, pan as well, so I have that going for me as well. Uh, let's see. You start going out to bed for a second. Wow. Go to the same bar at the boring end of Pearl Street, and it's nice. Over time, you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge weight off. Um, you're home and in bed by 1 a.m. a couple nights a week. Um. So the difference, I think. Well, the biggest way to kind of explain it is when you're by. Um, it would be dating, um, okay, um, 
I will I will definitely you know you know enjoy your lurking uh, stitch, but um, when you are by, well at least when people say they're by, they usually go for either who are considered male or female. Um, with people who consider themselves pan, it's more you're just kind of it, it, you're attracted to the person. So it doesn't really matter what it is that they actually have going on gender-wise or anything like that. It's just it's just an attraction to the person. And that's me. Let's see, Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state that your house is in. Uh, then they tell you Julia's kind of, wow few weeks go by. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. And you take it. Well, there you go. Yeah, see? Um, yeah. But, but you know what? The label can be whatever you want it to be. But, um, yeah, I mean, that that's just kind of how I saw myself is, is, but when I was, before I had actually come out, I had only really, um, dated women, um, because I kind of, you know, I didn't realize that I was trans, um, I had masculine hobbies, um, you know, I was mostly attracted to women. I hadn't really heard the word trans before. Um, and so I had no idea. That not being said that I didn't actually, you know, find some guys attractive. I mean, that's how it was. But it wasn't really until I started to come out um, that I actually kind of... Um, really liked, you know, and, Hello, and two forks tower. accepted who I was. Oh, radio's going off. Two forks tower, this is thoroughfare tower. Come in. Um, hello, whoever this is. It's Henry, Ooh, right? You're very, very welcome. Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I... Like, sleep? Forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Let's see. Okay, um, you're probably just rebelling against a mom who wishes you had given her grandkids, by the sound of your voice, at least 15 years ago. You come out here and it really grinds her gears and you love it. Can I sleep now? Well... She also says I fuck immature men, but in my defense, who wouldn't want a 28-year-old with ambition and Aww, energy and some you. fire in his belly in bed? Me. I'm going now. <laughs> Just a second. Now it's my turn. Okay. Good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you, but nine times out of ten, folks out here simply got dumped. Huh. Is that it? Close. Good night. Oh. Good night. Welcome to the job. Yep. <laughs> oh, thank you. Good morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Hey. Sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Woo! 
Yeah, Jesus. I guess it's what six. Six forty-five. Oh, good Whoops. lord! Wow. Don't worry about it. I that wish I could get six everyone out of commission eight. for a day or two. But now that you're up, <laughs> let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Uh, let's see. No, no, no. Aha! Ooh, there it is. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing, um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Are those fucking fireworks? I need you to confirm. Do you see them? Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and wow. set them straight. Okay, time to go and set things straight. Do you think you can handle that? I'm sorry it's not in the job description. Do I write him a ticket? Easy there, Dirty Harry. Well? Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. Wow. Convenient. That's one word for it. <laughs> Let's see. Cash box 306. Zoom in. Let's see, two forks. Cash 306. Oh, there you are. That is the wrong direction. I need to go this way. 306. Aww. Thank you. Thank you for following me. That's, uh, that's very, very sweet. Let's see, make sure that I am going in the right direction now. Yes, yes I am. 306. Yeah, that's, that's the one thing I like about this, is that you don't have, like, you know, like a regular mini map, um, just kind of sitting there in the corner. Um, you've actually got literally a map and a compass that you hold in your hand and you have to walk around with. Let's see. Awesome. On the right trail. <laughs> Off we go. Off we go into the wild blue yonder. Let's see. Yep, awesome. Aw, pretty flowers. Ah, there you are. I found the supply box. Great. Let's see. Now, what was that code again? That super, super secure code. Uh, that's right. One, two, three, four. So secure. So safe. Let's see. Copy down the information from the map. Awesome. And hey, I found a note to a guy named Ron from some guy Dave. Let's see. Hey man. Guy could take it so I love Wow. One of the parts you like hanging the That's probably Dave Gaskell. He's completely nuts. Is that right? Harmless, but yeah. One of those, you know, fall off the grid and eat ants for a week type. Totally fucking cuckoo. <laughs> Which is kind of what the job attracts. 
I tracked down that rope. It was right where so, you said. Hold on one Great. second. Great. So you should I be set to, to get down to the lake. A quick edit. So hold on one moment, please. Sorry, I had to go back and change uh, the channel to a uh, to mature because I completely and utterly forgot how much cursing there was in this game. People just stuff these things with old food. That's how you get bears. Those boxes are bear-proof. I wouldn't worry about it. And a pine cone. Hey, look, I found a pine cone. So, a little stitch and witch just kind of walked in front of my camera and uh, right in front of my screen and stole some pizza. Well, it's her pizza too, so. All right, now which direction is this stupid fireworks in? <laughs> Let's see. So they said it was the west facing window, so I need to go this way. Um, let's see. My map. Nice meal. I think it's this way. Yes, yes. The station witch is a pizza thief. Pizza! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Ada. I'm sorry we're giving you pizza jealousy. Yes. This vista is incredible. <laughs> Which one? Uh, down the hill from <laughs> my tower. And there's a canyon and then the rest of, well, everything. Yeah, you should see what I'm looking at. An eagle has been hovering over this gorge for the past hour. <laughs> and maybe if you're good, you can come by and see it at the end of the summer. Seriously. Who sets off fireworks in the middle of the forest when there's like a drought going on? White people. Yes, white people. There's the fireworks. I'm gonna come get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Uh, this shale slide is steep. How do you yes. expect me to get down this? <laughs> I don't remember it being that bad. It's not even named on our topos. It should be called Cripple Gulch, just east of gonna pee in a bag forever flats. Oh, is that Absorka Indian? Maybe, maybe Creek? Uh, it's actually English for not in my job description. <laughs> so let's try and get down this, uh, it's Cripple Gulch. 
Um, yeah, actually, I, I have played the whole game uh, all the way through. I have finished it. Um, I went ahead, I looked and saw when my last save game was. And it was in 2006. Ow. Ow. Um, but it was 2016 was the last time I played this game. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? Uh, Cripple Gulch got me. What exactly happened? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. Think you'll have to pee in a bag for the rest of your life? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's okay. sake. Let's see. Where did you young whippersnappers in your fireworks get off to? Wow, there's a, a big rock outcropping down here near the lake. It's really something. Yeah, makes for good camping. Aww. There used to be a group of guys Have who you actually paid through out there it a as couple well? times a year. What happened to them? Don't know. Just stopped coming out. I'm staring at the big outcropping down here, but I'm not quite sure where to look for our uh, pyrotechnicians. Mm. Maybe keep heading west toward the lake. Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, sure am. It's such uh, a good game. I love it. The worst, aren't it's they? got such a great They're story to it. Great, no. Let's see. People leaving empty beer cans in the middle of the forest. Yes, I will clean up after you. You know what? Fuck it. I'm not the maid. What do you know? People with shitty manners drink shitty beer. What? You don't like a cold Musqua light on a hot day? No, no, I do. But then again, I didn't say my manners were any good. Better than these fucking litter bugs, though, that's for sure. Alright. So, west, 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 west. west. That way. They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. But I want to mess with their backpacks. Come on. Oh, look. They decided to have a campfire, too. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? <laughs> yes, it does not take, uh, take into effect when you're trying to deal with stupid people. Uh, well, found me some fireworks. Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Uh, well, confiscate them. Confiscated me some... I works. Maybe I'll just shoot him off. <laughs> and that's a bra. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. There are, uh, panties. There are what? I don't want to say that word again. <laughs> Thank you for, Why, you're uh... 12? <laughs> I know. I love the faces that this little, uh, this little adorable panda can make. Is it? I can go. Yes, I can go. I disapprove. Or I can make evil face. <laughs> yep. Fireworks and underwear. That's how I like to camp. And some bad 80s synth rock. There's a. Oh. Ooh. 
Yes. Uh. There are two naked ladies out here. Yay! Can you handle that? Come on, I like naked ladies, same as anyone. But there's, you know. <laughs> two. Yeah. I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground and do naked your job. Naked lesbians in the woods. Okay. Naked. <laughs> Sorry. I found, found him, him in the lake. the lake. Skinny dipping. Yeah. Is that a guy over there? Oh boy. Enjoy dealing with that. I know you guys are setting up bottle rockets out here, okay? It's done. Well, that's ominous. Hopefully, there won't be any more trouble. Good. Uh, Thanks for going down there. Uh, hey, there's a trail to Two Forks Tower down here near the lake. Yeah, that's your tower. So I should go this way. Well, you're not climbing back up that slide. <laughs> yes, yes, if this was a Friday the 13th movie, they would be the first to die. Um. Any chance of those kids getting a disease in this lake, like diphtheria or consumption or... Consumption? Not if they're not 19th century chimney sweeps, no. You know, whatever. I mean, if they drank a bunch, Giardia, maybe, but probably okay. not this time of year. Hmm. Well, That's you can bad. have your drowned boombox back. Enjoy it. Yes, my sweet kitty, what would you like? I can feel you bumping up against and, and headbutting my, uh, there we are. I now have a cat as an armrest. <laughs> cat armrest is best armrest. Let's see. Da -da. Yes. Eventually, I will uh, get around to uh, to putting pictures of my cat up on uh, up on my page. So you can see the wonderful kitties, the wonderful kitty pictures. I am the thing. Yes, cat armrest is best armrest. Yep, she's a tiny, or so she's a little gray and white American short hair. Make. Okay. What is it? Um, look, I was I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know. I just I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. And you thought it was a good idea to get into your. Um, Love life, I guess you'd call it. Yeah. Um. <laughs> anyway, I'm. Uh. I'm sorry. It's fine. I'll. I'll. I'll keep that sort of a thing to. Uh. To a minimum. Anyway, 
Let me know when you get back to your lookout. Oh no. Aww, kitty currently gazing at you from your desk. What kind of kitty you have? I hear a rain coming. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. Aw, kitty cuddles. I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm safe. It's not going to strike twice and all that. Well, there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, mine is a rescue, too. She was a... Uh, what killed him? She was a dumpster Suicide. kitty kind Would of thing. Believe? Um, she was actually uh, living in uh, a friend's neighborhood, and uh, she was one of several kittens. And um, we decided to bring her home. And I have been very happy with that decision. Oh, this sounds so pretty. Oh, no, nope, open back up. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, I get the sense that not everything in here is useful. In the boxes? Why's that? I don't really know what I'll do with the deer horn. Firstly, they're called antlers. And secondly, stay out here long enough and you'll get creative. Okay, um, I'm gonna go with gross. What would I get creative with with a deer horn? Or, sorry, a deer antler. That is, uh, that is all different kinds of grody. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. Hello? It looks like the path leads through the cave. Back in the cave, huh? Man, I don't need to lose another lookout in there. Uh, another lookout? They go in, they never come out. Quite great now that I, uh... Ah, so this is another one of your jokes. Now I really feel like I'm in yeah, <laughs> it is. a yep. horror movie. Oh! This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so... <laughs> maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Uh, that's too bad. I used to go caving in Colorado a lot with someone. Would be really nice to pick that back up. Fond memories, huh? Big time. I'll uh, I'll keep an eye out for those keys. Don't hold your breath. Uh, uh, get home before the storm. <laughs> ah. There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Henry, there's... there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's... outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's... it's... it's madness. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. <laughs> Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. <laughs> it's outside. People come and go as they please. It's madness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, kitty belly. I have to be careful rubbing kitty bellies. I don't want to get attacked. I will get attacked because she is a pointy little pointy little muffin oh 
on sassy kitty sassy kitty okay I am officially lost ah okay I am not officially lost I did I'm going this way oh yeah that's usually why I avoid the bellies Belly rubs usually make my, my kitty grumpy too. Like, no, I don't want it. I stop. Can I even English? I'm not quite sure. I try. She's, she's needing little muffins. Oh, but well, now my hand is trapped. Now my hand is trapped. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I need to set up uh, set up alerts. I, I still have a lot left that I need to set up. Um, but thank you for hosting. Yes. Trapped hands are uh, are the hardest to 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 overcome. Ah. You know, I don't think there's any fictional character I hate more than Forrest Burns. Henry, as an employee of the Forest Service, that is treason. Yeah, well, he really freaked me out as a kid. He inspired me to spend the bulk of my 30s keeping the wilderness safe. A shrink would have a field day with you. Uh, thanks, Mom. What kind of name is Forrest Burns anyway? Well, that would be a pun, Hank. A glorious pun. <laughs> I went to junior high with a guy named Royal Butts. Royal? Butts. <laughs> I didn't think anyone had been named Royal since the 1850s. Uh, Royal Butts. Well, Royal's mom, Flo, was a bit of a trendsetter. Flo Butts. Oh, man, that's <laughs> even worse. Yeah, well, it's still better than Forrest Burns. <laughs> so this generator is all the power I've got out here. Yep, it doesn't go through much gas, and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so... What about my hairdryer? Oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I could never. I could never. Um, so it's uh, just the outhouse then, in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one at least. And, uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want Hole in well. one! Yay! I got the ball right in the hole! I don't want the ball back. <laughs> yeah, there, there's some some really really funny jokes in this. Um, oh shit. Uh. What can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground, outside of my tower. You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? <laughs> That's no. not good. How the hell? You should get inside. Fuck me. Ah, uh, and now the mystery starts. Someone broke in. They what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. My fucking sheets are gone. They stole your sheets? That's just mean. Yeah, it sucks. Oh, oh okay. So maybe it's not golf, but uh, maybe it's um, okay. I put in a basketball. I, I don't know. Okay, thanks. I don't know. Do you have any idea? It's a, who it's a baseball in a toilet. I don't know. I did probably piss off the girls at the lake. 
Ugh, fuck them. Well, I'll have the Rangers keep an eye out for a couple of young women and question any they find. I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some, what, violent campers? Uh, okay, in the morning I'm gonna call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since... I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't wow, get much, they really but at least if anything place. else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Well, I sure don't now. You will. I, I promise. Wow. Day two. Let's see what I was able to repair. Nope. I got a big old damn hole in my window. Hey, wake up. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. <sighs> Sorry, our um, problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used um, to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried that was radioing out, and that's not working either. That was a floating book. That was a floating book. I don't really know why that would be the case. There's no backup? The backup is the two-day hike out of here. So, that's a no? It's easier for me to send all the lookouts out to check the status of the wire in their areas. Yours is a good hike away. If you find any portion of it down, I can try to get a hold of a ranger, and he'll bring Let's someone see. in to fix it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna wanna go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. Thermos. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. Mm, no, it no. doesn't. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, there we are. Let's try and clean this up just a little bit, put some of these books away. Um weird floating book that was there earlier. No. That's not how we put books on a bookshelf. There. There you go. In the sink. My desk drawer. Yay, I got a 20 sided die. Oh god, I dropped my 20 sided die. Hey, there's a map in my tower that I'm pretty sure is not USGS regulation. Um, unless I've unknowingly been assigned to work in two orcs and the lake to the east is made of acid. Sounds erroneous. Looks like the previous resident was into fantasy. Escape from two orcs. Oh. The orcs lair, which is the tower. Magic circle. Blood river. Death mountain. Oh no. No, I tried to put you back. Put you back in the dust drawer. Come on. That didn't work out so well. <sighs> Come here. There. You can live there now. Oh, That's why you decided to die. You've come back to me. Hooray, 20 said he die. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Anything else? Anything else? Aww. All I got is a... All I've got is a blanket. Sons of bitches. Damn sons of bitches. And space puffs. Okay, back out we go. Uh, 
Again, let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna need to head back to that cave. Goodbye, little building that smells of poo. I don't want to die. Oh, oh, oh. I just got a kitty belly. I just got a kitty belly. I wish you could all see the adorableness that is uh, that is sitting on this chair next to me right now. Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Uh, you know, um, I don't know. Used to just spend a lot of time with our dog, Bucket. Aw, that's a good name. He was a good dog. What type? A beagle. We got him from the pound. That's great. Hey, can you hold on a sec? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Hey, oh. I don't think so. Why, have you? Okay, good. Uh, hey, your button is still down. No, I don't think he has any idea. I'm absolutely sure. Would you? All right, I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, Bucket's a cute name. You, um, you owned him with someone? Who was that? Who was who? I, I don't think he has any idea. What, what was that? Were you talking about me? What? You left your button pressed or something. Henry, that call was work. I was just talking to... Actually, it's not really your business. Why are you freaking out? I'm not freaking out. Good. I'm gonna go quiet for a little bit. Call me if it's important. Ah, oh, God. Oh, I just lost my radio, buddy. That's what I get for being defensive. Where the hell am I going? Okay. I need to plant Let's see. Uh, mine's north of the canyon. So let's head this way. I love it out here. It's always so pretty. The one thing I kind of love about this game is that there really isn't uh, any music normally, unless it's like some kind of a situation or like a change in mood. Otherwise, it's just you and nature. 
and that they've done nature so well. I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out. But I'd rather it not come to that. Hold for show one moment. Okay, there we go. Um, sorry, the feed that I was wa or that I watched to kind of keep an eye on the channel uh, went dark, so I was uh, I was a little concerned there. So many lions. Jogging, 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 jogging. Jogging, jogging, jogging. Hello to anybody who happens to be out there watching. Uh, we are in the midst of playing Firewatch. Uh, to those who have not uh, ever played Firewatch, this one. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's a, down uh, here. It's kind of like a really? first person awesome. mystery game. It's like, I don't know, a mile and a half east of me. You just follow the trail up the hill, you can't miss it. I'll go see what the damage is. Okay, so now I need to get to the top of this mountain. So, yeah, so what it is, is you're kind of. Um... Whoa, I, uh, I found a turtle. Maybe it's a, a tortoise. It's a thing with a shell. Well, isn't that something? It's actually pretty cute. Aw, well, I found a Henry, turtle. if you decide you want it to keep you company, nobody will mind. Now, what Yay. do I call it? Looks like a, uh, hmm. Oh, this ought to be good. Shelly Duvall. Ah, Shelly. I see what you did there. Very nice. <laughs> yes. she's, uh, she's dainty, yet powerful. Shelly well, Duvall. I loved her in The Shining. <laughs> I'm going to adopt Shelly Duval, my little turtle. All right, come on, Shelly Duval. Let's go find out why this wire is broken. But yes. Who are these guys, Ron and Dave? They're leaving. Let's see. I got your note about needing to talk, and I'm sorry I didn't. I've been looking for you all day. I figured you'd be out near the canyon helping those grad students. Uh, let's see. Wow. Notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance one of them was that guy I saw in the canyon? You know, the guy with the flashlight? No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know them that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting loaded. It's somehow comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. Okay, six feet under.
Go, Pinecone, be free. Be free, Pinecone. Live your life and become a tree. Let's see. Now how do you get to the top of this ridge here? Let's see. I'm gonna have to head south. West and south. Okay. Here we go. Oh god, big drop. Woohoo! Come on, Shelly Duvall, let's go explore. Oh, hi kitty. Hi kitty. How's my Rosie? Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before? Yep. These fucking kids. Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. <sighs> Damn kids always breaking shit. Damn kids. Utility pole. Kids drinking their cheap beer and breaking stuff. Yes, my dear, I'm right here. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it the moment you said you found their trash. <sighs> These idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Hmm. <laughs> Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am going to need a raise. <sighs> don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Oh, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Do you see anything from yours? Like, you know, the clues as to where they could be? <laughs> clues. I really like your enthusiasm for mystery. I'm just doing my job. I like it. I, I do. I just... I, I can't wait for you to give these girls a piece of your... Our... Mind... Minds... Collective. But no. No clues. I... I can't see anything from here. Alright. So let's follow the beer cans. Follow the beer cans. Clean up your shit while I go along. I see how it is. Teenagers drinking cheap beer. God damn it. Let's 
let's see. Okay. Let's see what we've got going on. Where am I at? Okay. Let's see. Oh god, long jump. Supply drop, Jones Lake, two forks. Okay. Okay. Carabiner. Let's check and explore. Attach the rope and hopefully not die. Oh, that's right. I forgot. My, my rope broke. I can't go this way. I need to go a different way. Time to find a different way to go. Such a pretty game. Well, I hopped down a drop and now I can't climb back up. Mm, that is a pickle. I can just keep hiking, but I figured I should let you know in case I get myself trapped out here. Well, hopefully that doesn't happen before you find these assholes. I was thinking you should probably head back to where you saw them last. Oh, better, you know, easier said than done right now. I am a little trapped. Out in the woods. Come on. Let's follow the signs of the supply drop. Yay, supply cash. One, two, three, four. What a supply cache. Okay. Oh, I can't go this way anymore. Let's see where we're going. Wow, it's so pretty out here. Makes me almost want to go hiking on my own. Almost. Hey, I'm out at a ravine. What's this thing that spans across it? That is how you get to my sector. No kidding. Well, let me hike over. Well, it's locked up and mainly for emergencies. I've never actually used it. Rangers use it from time to time, but that's it. Help! Oh, God, it's an emergency! Oh, really? Yeah, I got, I got, um, I got eyes on a tornado. I gotta get out of here. A tornado in the heart of the Rockies? Yes! Holy moly, I need to call this in! Tom, Two Forks sees a tornado! He says he needs an evac into my sector. 
It's a meteorological impossibility. There haven't been tornadoes in the greater Yellowstone region in a hundred million years. You're going to need him to stay and take a detailed personal account, even if it means giving his life. Okay, I'll tell him. Sorry, Hank. No dice. Man. <laughs> Uh, the sass of this lady is amazing. I love it. Okay. Let's see. I can't go down that way. Let's see. Find the teens, yes. Let's see. Let's see what I can do. Back to where I was. God. I'm trepid. Let's see. I'm following trails, following trails. Where am I going? nothing for me. Let's see. Can't go that way. I've become trapped. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Nice. Oh god. Hey, rope. Well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's, there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this, this uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Yay. Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just have 
haven't heard that name in a few years. He was a lookout? <laughs> yeah, kinda, I guess. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? No. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Is Ned that guy from the note I told you about? About the guy leaving his post? Oh, uh, could be, yeah. But I think at one point they just realized this job wasn't for them. For Brian, at mm. least. Huh. Anyway, so it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a Photodome employee. I don't know, I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Let's see, let's read this note. Guess who's going out there? Wow. Hmm. Went up to check out the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself more than usual. Then you say Chimney Rock. Wow. Oh, I have a guest. A different bucket has decided to join my uh, my little streaming area. Hi, Rusty Bucket. Hello, Rusty Bucket. Let's see. Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. And maybe they're leaving me an entire creature, piece by piece. Yay. Oink. Okie dokie. Let's see. Pretty, pretty. Yay, fun with disposable cameras. I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? Y you think it's them? I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Oh, uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain-link fence? A chain-link fence? Yeah. It looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh. That's weird. Who are they keeping out of here? And why? Ah, oh, jeez, I don't know. Maybe it's biologists, you know? Well, they don't want people traipsing on their precious lichens. What's a lichen? Well, wouldn't you lichen to know? Oh my god, goodbye. Oh, that is the worst pun someone, ever. But <laughs> that'll probably be a few days. What's a lichen? Wouldn't you lichen to know? Oh, such a bad pun. Hey, sorry about snapping at you earlier. Um, I thought about it and yeah, I suppose that must have sounded kind of weird when you heard me take that other call. Plus, you're just out here in your own head. <laughs> Trust me, I know how it is. So... Did you break any hearts back in Colorado when you took this job? I myself have chosen to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but <laughs> I know I'm a bit of an outlier. No, I didn't break any hearts when I left. So you guys broke up? Something like that. And you're just bursting at the seams to talk about it. You really are very perceptive. I know. <laughs> it's one of my many gifts, along with accents and impeccable night vision. Incredible. Why, thank you very much, Governor. Uh, 
Let's see. Where am I? Where am I? It's a bit of a fence. Okay. I need to get up there. Let's see. Let's see how to get up there. fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire excuse me flapjack you know like a loser a chotch i really don't but i do now well the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini you've got just the name to use <laughs> hey flapjack why don't you wait your turn before i bounce your face off a dumpster it's beautiful. <laughs> do, 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 do. Let's see. Attach a rope. Okay, where am I now? Where am I now? Oh, there I am. Oh, well, I am up here. Let me attach a rope on the other side as well. Let's see. So I just looked at my clock, and I only have about 20 minutes <laughs> left in my stream. And so far, I have been playing. I have been playing uh, Firewatch, which is a, kind of an interesting, it's a first-person mystery game. Um, you've kind of got this big open world to explore, and uh, you go about, and you're, you're trying to, to kind of... Uh, figure out what's going on with your life, and, and figure out what's going on out here in the wilderness um the little side mysteries going on and you can you got a wonderful person named delilah to talk to and uh i've actually uh ended up collecting a little bit of and adopting a friend a little turtle who uh, i have named shelly duval and if you do not know who shelly duval is um you go, or you need to go, and you need to look that up, because she's an amazing actress. You know, if it makes you feel any better, you're a member of a diverse club of lookouts that have come to the thoroughfare after a breakup. There was Vernon, whose wife got put away for running cocaine. Becca, who was widowed after her husband, a jockey, was trampled by his horse. And Sharon, whose boyfriend had his own boyfriend. Maybe you boned the neighbor. Maybe she boned the neighbor. Maybe you both did. We didn't break up. We didn't choose to break up. She got sick. I'm... I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Wow. That got really real there for a second. <laughs> nope. But yeah. I'm a big fan of this game. It's it's a really pretty game to look at. It's it's got you know wonderful scenery. Absolutely. Uh... Wow, I'm on top of a natural bridge out here. Really? Is it a complete arch? Uh, no. I guess the bridge is out here. Still, I think I could jump this gap to get across the canyon. Ah, oh, you're a regular evil Knievel. Oh yeah, you should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. But um, it's just it's just got such a great aesthetic and such a great atmosphere it's such a beautiful game and i definitely recommend um anybody who hasn't had a chance to play it to actually to go check it out it is, it's not a new game it has been out for quite a few years 
Um, I want to say it's been out for about um, about three years, but it is definitely worth going to check out. And it, it, I mean, even even for a three-year-old game, it's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, I mean, look at this. Just 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 look at this. And if you really want. Go ahead and do that. And save that for posterity. Find that plume of smoke. Where are you? Let's figure out where we are. Okay. Let's see. Can't fire smoke around there, so I need to get to. Cripple Gulch. And I think from there I should be able to get down to where I need to go. Big jump. See anything new? No? No? Okay, goodbye. What does she have? She's got Alzheimer's. Like, um, dementia. Whoa. How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? We were scared shitless. And the wow. first time she really started to slip, we just made dinner and acted like it didn't happen. Eventually it was impossible to ignore, and we saw all the doctors and all of that. They diagnosed her, and we were both just very scared. Can't really tell when Julia is scared. She just gets quiet. She was very quiet. I'm down by Cripple Gulch. You ready to give it another shot? <sighs> Do I seriously have to? To get down to Five Mile Creek? Yeah, afraid so. It's quite a ways downhill from here. Uh. <sighs> That's one of the things uh, that I completely forgot about this game is the uh, the story that's going along with it of uh, the guy and his wife and. and Alzheimer's is a, uh, it's, it's a big thing, and, uh, it's definitely something that, uh, you know, should never be joked about, and, and, you know, there's quite a few people who have, suffer from, you know, early onset dementia, and you know, quite a few different things, but, uh, I'm very glad that I've never had, uh, a family member, per, uh, a, a close family member that suffered from a severe uh, issue with dementia. Uh, and uh, I can only help that, or hope that uh, I'm able to stay healthy myself.
Wow, that got all kinds of feels right there. I do apologize for getting a bit too deep on you in there. Um, I actually, I, I had worked in a uh, retirement facility, and one of the areas that I worked uh, was an area where they had patients that had Alzheimer's and dementia. And being in that area was super difficult uh, for me. Um, and that's something that I, I remember and probably will never forget. But, uh, but yeah. Otherwise, beautiful game. A little bit of a, uh, you know, a mystery going on that you're trying to solve. Right now, I'm trying to find the source of this smoke. Um, with my little map. Hello, little map. Ooh, a cache. 309. Let us find this cache. Maybe I got stuff. So, how'd you meet? Met in a bar. Mmm, the birthplace of modern romance. I walked over and asked her what her major was because I thought she was a student, not a prof. Smooth. That's me. I did make the first move, though. Aw, you were brave. I was drunk. <laughs> How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, Let's with see. most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next see. you weren't. Ned Goodwin Mitch didn't Michaels, get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was pounds. just a PTSD a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and Mitch Mitchell was realized it was a bad idea. PTSD? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know. He was in the army. He was... off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. F-250. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned wow. was the only next of kin. Damn. And you got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I'd talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. Let's see. I've got my things. Let's find us a fire. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Wow. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Let's see. Stream. Follow the stream. Find the smoke. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. I 
I see a campsite, and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? No, it seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down, and don't let them see you. What a job this is. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you... It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here, at their camp. I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? It's another one of those magazines. These girls have a full case of beer left here, a full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. Their tent looks like it's been through the shredder, which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Like a, like a bear or, um, I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it, did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah, good thinking. Let's see. Maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. At this stage, take whatever you want. Uh, some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh, that's not good. Uh, looks like someone left a note. Intriguing. Maybe you should read it. Okay, yeah. Let me know what it says. Oh, they're gone, for sure. Well, what's it say? I'm threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, did you? No, well, hey, I didn't do this, okay? Someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. I didn't. Of course I didn't. I just threw their stereo in the lake. Yeah, I really wish you wouldn't have done that. This is, I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's its okay, I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers, they could be having a bad mushroom trip, we really don't know. But they're gone. There's no way to call the cops, they're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Well... That was a weird day, and uh, I'm actually coming up right now on the two-hour mark on my stream, so I'm actually going to uh, to use that to uh, to kind of call it a day. So uh, this has been the start of uh, what's going to be day three, so hey, I'm Henry? actually going to save it here, uh, and then we can come back to this uh, another time. I just wanted to thank you all for uh, for coming by, giving me a watch, um, kind of hanging out with me while we went through and uh, played a little bit of Firewatch. If you liked it, uh, definitely uh, stop on by and we can uh, see about you know continuing on with the mystery and see where we can go with this. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, if you want, uh, please go ahead and... and uh, grab a follow on this channel um, if you want I've also got all of my different social medias you can check on there I'm gonna be starting to, to post up more information uh, as well as uh, posting up the videos from my streams on my YouTube channel uh, so I look forward to seeing you guys all there and uh, have a wonderful day be great be wonderful uh, and always always know that you are important you are special you are unique you are amazing and you are valid have a good day bye